something. Connected to something I'm not. What are you? You were dying. We saved you. And now you save others. Words and violence. Break the silence. I know I have a past. I'll find out who I was. Everything they told you was a lie. Who are you? They did not save your life. They stole it. Aloha, this is Trinidad, your island man, coming to you live once again from the island of Oahu, giving you the best movie reviews on the island of Oahu here in Hawaii. Yes, uh, today is Friday, and I just saw the uh, matinee of Ghost in the Shell with Scarlett Johansson. Now, first of all, let's uh, discuss a little bit of the controversy between the show. Uh, or this movie. Uh, when it first came out, a lot of people were afraid of the uh, whitewashing uh, controversy, uh, you know, based on the anime uh, set in, you know, future Tokyo. A lot of people were upset to find that Scarlett Johansson, a Caucasian woman, would be playing the lead character, where it wouldn't be, say, an Asian actor. Uh, preferably, a lot of people thought that a uh, woman from Pacific Rim. Um, I, I forget her name offhand. But, uh, you know, she had shown that, you know, she's definitely Asian and uh, could do physical activity, uh, you know, in the movie Pacific Rim. And I thought she was great in that movie. And, you know, other than the uh, hiccup, which was 47 Ronin, uh, I think she should have been given a chance. But, you know, honestly, this movie only got made due to Scarlett Johansson's, uh, you know, star power, hoping to bring in people in the seats despite the controversy. And uh, they do kind of sort of uh, uh, try to fix that in the movie, uh, stating, you know, we learned a lot about the Major's past more so than we ever had in the animated movies or even the TV series. Uh, we find out that uh, she was actually, when she was human, she was a Japanese uh, girl. Um, you know, and you can say, yeah, you know, we, we know that from the, you know, uh, from the TV show, uh, but, you know, and probably from the movie as well, but here it's definitely confirmed. Um, we see her as, you know, the Japanese girl, uh, before her body was converted into an android, and her brain, uh, placed in that android body. And to be fair, like the producers of the movie probably thought, it's like, well, she's an android, we can make her any ethnicity that we want. And so, you know, uh, not really whitewashing, they would say. Still, I think it would have been better if they had done an Asian character for that role. And remember our rating scale? Shaka thumbs up, I recommend it. Shaka thumbs down, I don't recommend it, or it's junk. And I begrudgingly have to give this movie, Ghost in the Shell, this version, a Shaka thumbs up. But it is a weak Shaka thumbs up, so I can only recommend this movie to you uh, for, you know, the $6 at Regal on Tuesday or $6 at Consolidated on Thursday. Uh, it's not worth seeing full price. Definitely, you know, although some of the effects might be nice in 3D, I cannot justify the price to you in 3D or IMAX. Uh, that being said, uh, I paid full price matinee for it, and again, I would have been happier with the $6. Uh, <laughs> it's just not that, uh, it's not that good of a movie overall. Uh, it's a little slow at the beginning, you know, as they're trying to, you know, gear up towards the future and everything, you know, into where the story starts, um, 
and uh, the third act for me saves it because it's the most action and there is a little bit of intrigue as we're trying to find out what's going on in this movie but it is a distraction from those who have watched the animated series watched the animated movies and uh, found that it's definitely goes on its own path it's no Beauty and the Beast not shot for shot uh, you know scene for scene uh, like the animated show uh, which I think is to its detriment. You know, the biggest difference is that the Major is not, uh, her robotic body is not destroyed at the end, and she continues on. Um, so it's much more like maybe a, the series. And in doing so, they do leave it open directly for sequels based on more Division 9 activities, which may or may not be a good thing. Uh, I could see this easily transferring over to a Netflix show, Maybe Amazon Prime show would be a better option for it. Um, you know, of course, Scarlett Johansson might be too much uh, for, for such a role. But again, being a cybernetic body, they could change the actresses relatively easy and still keep the personality of the major. Uh, I'm for that. Maybe not more movie sequels of the live-action variety. Um, so... I guess my biggest problem with this movie is that, unlike the animated series, it doesn't really talk too much into the spirituality or the uh, ethics of, you know, as we become more embracing of technology, uh, you know, where the potential may be someday to live forever in cybernetic bodies, what becomes of our humanity, of our souls? And that's the ghost in the shell, is the soul in the body, basically. Uh, do we just essentially become machines at that point? Uh, it's addressed slightly in this movie, and as she tries to figure out her own past, um, which is a variation uh, from the uh, animated show, um, she does delve a little bit into this. But again, it's just mere sprinkling. Um, you know, nothing as in-depth or deep as the animated uh, movie Ghost in the Shell did. So I find that hardcore fans of the animated show, of the animated movies, will not like this show. Um, I think uh, anybody who likes science fiction, they'll, they'll embrace this show, they'll like it. It's definitely worth the $6 or a viewing on Netflix for that. Um, because uh, they bring in a lot of themes, themes from like Robocop, Blade Runner, uh, definitely uh, the, the cancelled Fox TV show Almost Human, if you had seen that, uh, you know, robot and a human partner cop show uh, that was on maybe about two years ago. That was really good with uh, Carbon Urban or Carl Urban uh, in the role. And uh, it was fabulous, and it talks about those same kind of things, about what is humanity, what is it being human, as we become more and more accustomed to machines and cybernetic implants, and eventually a full reconversion. Um, you know, so again, remember, uh, shock a thumbs up, but, you know, just begrudgingly, uh, if you're really looking for a you know, a, a true conversion from the animated movie, then go see Beauty and the Beast. If not, uh, you know, just go ahead and wait for I, you know, iTunes, uh, Netflix for Ghost in the Shell, this version. Uh, and again, if you really want to see it, only see it for the $6. All right, this is Trinidad giving Ghost in the Shell a week. Shock a thumbs up. So... I'll go ahead and uh, see you guys later, and take care. Aloha.